So yeah, hey, welcome back. This is FIFA Zealot. Welcome to uh, the first of many uh, Real Salt Lake vlogs. Today's game day, season opener. Super excited. Um, so we'll see how things go. We are playing Toronto FC, who made it to the finals last uh, season. Let's see if we can straighten that up. There we go. Anyway, made it to the finals last season and lost in penalties, which was bullcrap because they should have won. Uh, the Seattle Sanders sucked in every facet every way possible and they just were like hey we're just gonna make it so we don't concede a goal that's all they did uh, and it worked so anyway um so heading to the stadium i do live like 50 minutes away it's actually quite far that's one thing i am quite envious of with uh european football it's one thing i'm envious of is that they have Things are so close. Everything is so stinking close that, you know what I'm saying? It's 15, 10, 15 minutes away. And then if you're traveling, you know what I'm saying? You're traveling to an away game. Our closest away game is, what, three hours away or something like that? And that's Colorado. That's like just right next, the next state over. If you want to go to California, it's like a 12-hour drive, or a, you know, obviously if you can get plane tickets, but that just makes your uh, travel that much more expensive. So anyway, so it's definitely different, but so, like I said, super excited. Season opener. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't know what to think about how we'll do. I'm really nervous. We have a bunch of young players some of them have do have several seasons of experience but they are still young we have a couple of seasoned old players that we just got um, and we have Albert Rusnik who is our new center attacking midfielder so we'll see how he plays how well he does and, and I'm excited we're supposedly supposed to be much more attacking and that is the hope. That is the goal. So we'll see how that turns out. But it should be fun. And uh, if we can start off with a win. Now we have the season openers. Uh, especially home game season openers. We have a, a ridiculous record. I'll have to look it up. But I want to say like of the... We started in 6. So like in the last 11 or 12 years. I want to say we're like... The majority of them are wins. It's like wins and ties, only a couple of losses or something like that. But I'll find the num number and actually spit it out. So, yeah, and I do have uh, my uh, recording equipment, so we will be we're recording. And maybe doing a little bit of some interviews of people heading up to the game, and we'll have some fun and see what, how it goes. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Bye. So, Dave, predictions. Oh, I don't even know who we're playing. So. Playing. <laughs> Toronto FC will probably lose 2-1. You think 2-1? Yep. We we've been uh, we've been uh, tying like all our preseason games. Yep. I saw that one on Arizona. Well, like 3-3, 3-3, 1-1. I think we only won one preseason game. So anyway, I knew Toronto was good last year though. Toronto went to the finals. Yeah. They were good, that's what I'm saying. It's gonna be rough. We'll see if, we'll see if uh, Giovinco's still there. I know. I am so. excited for our new winger, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm really the wit. I'm hoping we can actually use it pretty well. Well, we got young guys. I know. But problem with being people being young. Inexperienced. Yeah. Predictions? Anybody? We're gonna win. We're gonna win. What are we gonna win? How much are we gonna win by? 11. <laughs> 11 to 0. 11 and 0. You heard it here. 11 and 0. Jesus said, I am the one who will I'd still be fine 3 to 16. I'd still be fine with that. So. Are those the odds? My brothers and sisters, don't let me stand that you waited too late. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Utah drive in. Show it. Utah drive in. <laughs> That's how people from Utah drive. Just stop in the middle of the section. Stop it in the walkway. So who cares? No one ends up dying anyway. That's I guess that's all that matters. My hands are really bad. I was kind of excited for the new uh what's his name? Uh Rick Shea move. Oh to Orlando no, from Orlando to what did he go to? He went to Canada. Vancouver Whitecaps, right. I'm excited I, for that. I've never really seen much of what he does. I saw like his... Well, I used to watch him when he, when he was playing in, you know, over in uh, England for a little bit. But who he wouldn't play for in England? Uh, no, who wasn't? Well, I don't want to look like an idiot, so I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna chance a guess, but uh, I used to follow his career over there. But uh, they, they, they got mad tantrums because he wasn't getting played so they sent him to a, a <laughs> championship relegated team. oh to championship yeah <laughs> he ended up in MLS and he ended up coming back he's like oh, that's great but hey that's too much money in the MLS man nowadays you think so yeah for them to come back oh uh, yes, we'll no see. one wants to try and make it right? try and make it what elsewhere yeah Think about it, everyone came back. Bradley came back. What's his name? Yeah, but it's because you, American <laughs> players don't <laughs> don't last as long in, <laughs> in other leagues. Uh, the keeper. Guzan oh. came back. Guzan's not back. Hey, he is. Uh, Colorado's keeper, Howard. Well, he, he was pretty much like relegated back. Wow. Yeah. They've changed it quite a bit. Uh, I got like a miniature golf hole and everything. Miniature golf, bunch of field play, kids jungle gym. So yeah, it's freaking definitely changed since even since last season. So behind me, you have the uh, what we affectionately call the riot. It's Rio Tinto Stadium. Uh, I think it holds about 20,000 fans. Um, it's got a lower bowl and then like a, just a small upper bowl. Um, but it, I mean, it doesn't hold that many. Okay, I'll make my way out. So, is it the light? So, so that's the ride. We're gonna go on inside and see uh, how we all Salt Lake does today. Hopefully we can pull out a win and get all three points and start off the season really well. This has been Fee Vizella. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. We're late. <laughs> We've already done the national anthem and fireworks and everything. So we'll get to our seats as soon as we can and see what happens. Giving up a penalty. 30 minutes in. Goalkeeper being a moron. Kind of dumb. Not going to lie. MLS. PK saves in history. Our goalkeeper stops it again. And we're still level. All right, well, that's the end of the game. Ended up drawing 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, saw some really good things about the team. Um, Albert Rusnik, his passing, his playmaking abilities... Uh, I was very impressed with, very impressed with. The weight he puts on passes and such is just, I mean, it's phenomenal. Incredible. 
Um, as to uh, you know the rest of the team, it's the same. It's like the same as last year. Uh, Klotza not being able to finish his chances. Um, Beckerman had some. I mean, he had some decent saves. Some like some that were actually really good. But he's so slow. He's old. He's slow. He's missed a step. His passing isn't as accurate as it used to be. Yura um, just didn't have the speed, or you know, what I'm saying that we're looking for and we need. He plays decent hold-up playing. I mean, he's strong, but <clears throat> when you can't, uh, you know, what I'm saying when we when you get a ball up over the top, you know, what I'm saying, and it's him and, and the center back, the one center back. And you can't beat that center back to the ball, you're in trouble. You know what I'm saying? You need a a, a forward who can do that. Um, Allen, you know, he's new. He hasn't played up on the wing. Um, it's kind of like a new spot for him. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, Uh, I mean, I think he'll get better with age and with practice and with playing with other people, but but we'll have to wait and see. Um, Schuler did amazing. The guy was stuck with Josie Altidore all game long. Came close to getting two yells. He got a, a yellow, obviously. I mean, I thought with one of those kind of guys who's that physical, you're bound to get a yellow. If you're the guy on this, you know, attacker, you know, striker who's that big and physical you're gonna get a yellow card but uh, he was able to keep himself from getting a second yellow Horst this this new center back we got holy cow that guy put in a shift I was very very impressed with that guy our fullbacks both put in solid shifts uh, got up and got back uh, quite a bit was impressed with that Sonny is an amazing physical attacker uh, excuse me defender he uh, some of the tackles that he made were just like bone jarring on the on the the other uh, opposing team and it was totally clean and total just in a fantastic tackles but he has for me he has two weaknesses one he has struggles with passing he's decent with the ball dribbling and with the ball but he struggles with his passing and if he gets beat, it happens. But he, his recovery of getting beat is just usually so atrocious that it's, I mean, he's fouling, getting cards. It's, it's anything but, you know what I'm saying? Usually, you know, you stick your head down, you get back, you tug on him a little bit. But this guy, I mean, he's just arms waving, tugging, shoving, pushing, anything to get... You know what I'm saying? To, to, to delay the defender, but it typically ends up hurting us more than helping us. So all in all, super excited for the season. Uh, in typical Real Salt Lake fashion, we were unable to finish our chances. We were I felt like we were the better team. I felt like we, uh, we had them beat. We had the better chances. We had more chances. I felt like we were the more dangerous team. And in the end... We we couldn't finish our chances. We had two or three that were... I mean, we had one that was a gimme. One that was almost as good, or maybe even just as good, as the penalty that they got. Man of the match obviously has to go to Nick Raimondo, coming out when he needs to, and his amazing penalty kick. Our PK save. The fact that he consistently saves penalty kicks... On a regular basis is amazing and that's why I have no qualms over keeping him for a long time uh, definitely man of the match was Nick Romano with his save um, just top top-notch like fantastic so I'm excited for the season for several reasons like I said defensively we looked better we looked a lot I felt like we looked a lot better defensively 
than we have in the past. But it's not going to mean anything if we're not consistent. We are better defensively, but if we're not finishing our chances, if we're not getting what we need, then it's we're still not going to be able to win games consistently. So we need to be able to better finish our chances.